It is official. The UConn women's basketball team wrote themselves into sports record books last night. The Lady Huskies walked all over Florida State 93-62 to win their 89th straight game. That tops the 88-game winning streak put together by the UCLA men's team during the 1970s. It's the latest achievement for the UConn women who have won seven national titles and have had four undefeated seasons. For more perspective on last night's record-setting victory, we've got Katherine Olson, CEO of Women's Sports Foundation, on the show this morning. Katherine, good morning to you. Good morning to you, too. Thank you. This is obviously a big deal for UConn and women's basketball. If there's a glass ceiling over women's basketball right now, did this UConn win just break it? Well, first of all, congratulations to the UConn Huskies on their magnificent win last night, and um, it's really a time to be celebrating. Um, the uh, streak that they have. And um, did it break the glass ceiling? It did break a glass ceiling. I fear that there are more out there to be broken, but it certainly broke one. And congratulations to them. If another men's team were to break this same record, you think it would have gotten more attention? I think that it would have gotten more attention, um, but I, I'm also appreciative of the fact that the win by UConn has brought this to the front page, and we're having the type of conversations that we've been having all day long and that have been across the country where men and women. Um, we're aware of the game and are celebrating their victory tonight. So let's let's have that conversation. Women's sports generate about 8% of all print and TV sports media coverage. Why don't women's sports get the same attention as male teams and athletes? Correct. So that, that 8% is right along the lines with horses, dogs, and fishing. So obviously we would like to see that number be much higher. Um, I, and um, I don't have the answer to why there isn't more sports coverage of women's events. It's clearly not an issue of the talent. Um, women have been, been playing sports uh, quite heavily since 1972, the passage of Title IX, and they are incredible female athletes out there. They are at the top of their game, whether it's softball, skiing, uh, the, the women's, um, the, ba the basketball team, the WNBA, there are incredible female athletes out there, and they are definitely worthy of watching. So you say it may not be an issue with talent, but let's, let's say women's basketball, for instance. Could the lack of attention be because there aren't as many competitive teams? Well, there's competitive teams in the WNBA. So I think it's a broader society question why um, many people have grown up watching men's sports, sports and boys' sports and not women's sports to the same degree. Um, I, you get the question starting at nine years old, a girl will notice the difference that um, there are more people watching her brother's Little League game than there are watching her game. So it's really a societal um, question. When Title IX was passed, it meant equality in education activities and certainly sports. Yet today, there is less scholarship money available to women athletes and fewer opportunities to play sports in high school and in college. Why? Well, there's no question that the, the current economic um, situation has put pressure on bo both men and women's sports. Um, the number of op opportunities has gone up by 900% for women at the high school level and has gone up for the college level as well. And actually, um, the, the participation in sports since 1972 for women has gone from one in 27 to two in five. So there's been significant progress there. It's just that it, it has not followed Title IX to the level of equality that we'd like to see. There are about 1.3 million fewer sports opportunities at the high school level and about 57,000 fewer opportunities at the college level for women. So, and we look at this and say, oh, and sports so, is so, terrific. So in yeah. order to achieve that equality, Catherine, what, what will it take to fix this? It's more sports opportunities for girls at the high school and co collegiate level. So it, it means more teams or more scholarships uh, on those teams. All righty. Women's Sports Foundation CEO mm -hmm. Catherine Olson, thanks for your insight this morning. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you.